the grace. Amen. We have received it. Let me give you. Let me give you. Uh, 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 let me let me give you an allegory of this. If I give you a bottle, a, a tube of ointment right now, that ointment could probably take care of any ailment in your life. Okay. I give it to you. If you have a pain in your knee, you put it on your knee. You have a pain on your neck, you put it on your neck. You have a pain on your toe, you put it on your toe. It will take care of all your ailments. Amen. But if I give it to you and you don't apply it, right. it's not going to do you any good. Right. All you're going to do is go home and shout about the fact that the apostle gave me this ointment, but you'll, you'll still be in pain, you'll still be miserable, you'll still be frustrated because you have not applied what you've been given. This is good teaching. Amen. Ain't nobody help me, but this is good teaching. It's good teaching. Because when you apply the ointment, the ingredients inside the ointment is going to activate themselves and take care of your malady. Yeah. Lord, help me in here. Yeah. If the ingredients always in it, you can stand there and shout about it and dance about it and everybody come to your house, look what the apostle gave me. Oh, he loved me so much, he gave me this ointment. But you haven't put it on yet. And then you're whining about, you know, I'm still in pain. But the apostle loved me, he gave me this ointment. Open up the can and put it on. Open up the book and receive grace. Amen. Open up your heart and receive grace. God gave you grace, but you have to be received and applied. Amen. Can I just talk to you all since I'm just going to teach this morning? Grace. What is grace, gentlemen? Of the influence of God and creation. All is all inclusive finished work is God's grace. It includes favor. Mr. Cotton is way bigger than favor. Here's what grace includes, because I'm going to teach you something here. Grace towards man includes the gift of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's number one. The first great gift of grace that you have, remember I just read it, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So the first gift, uh, the first manifestation of God's grace that you and I have in church is Jesus Christ. So I have to first learn how to what, receive him, somebody how I'm saved. But I got to apply that salvation to my life. Glory to God. I, I, grace gives me the gift of salvation. If I have redemption. I have justification. I have all these things. I'm teaching it somewhere. But if I don't apply them, then they, 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 I have no benefit from them. I shout about them. I preach about them. I sing about them. Your grace and the mercy. I can do all that right there. But if I don't apply it, I get no benefit from it. I sing it, and then I live in the feet. My, my. Come on, Pastor. The Holy Ghost. It's a manifestation of God's grace. Amen. Do any of us even understand how to apply the Holy Ghost to our lives? Oh, come on, come on. Or we just dance about the Holy Ghost. That's what they've been taught. Oh, look at her. She fell on fire, but she defeated. She frustrated. She broke. She disrupted. Oh, y'all don't bother me here. Because she don't know how to apply. Ain't it funny how to church the people who dance and speak in tongues the most of the broken people in the church? <laughs> I'm not helping you on here because I'm going to tell you how to apply it in a minute. But I want, I want you to know what's available to you. Amen. And I want to give you some steps and figures on how to receive this thing. Amen. The covenant that you have the covenant. Yes. is a manifestation of grace. Yes. Do you know what the covenant is and how to apply it? Whether you're suffering or feeling bad or feeling pain in a certain area. Amen. Amen. I'm preaching good, ain't I? Do you know that the law of love is a part of God's grace? Yeah. Amen. The statement of faith is a part of God's grace. Amen. You have all these things available to you. But nobody ever told you how to apply them. Somebody said amen. amen. I remember, Kenny, when I was on drugs. I kept hearing people, I, all I could hear was, oh, you have it, you have it. You just got to fight, you just got to fight. Nobody ever told me how to fight, though. Right, they, they anointed me with oil. I danced around the church, got in front of the Holy Ghost, but nobody ever told me the steps to take. I got right, frustrated, right. and people keep telling me I have to fight, but nobody can tell me how. Right, right, right. Come on, Holy Spirit. And here it is, I think I'm fighting with everything I have, and the devil is whooping me. I'm not in here by myself. Some of y'all have been down this road before. You gave it everything you have in your own self. You did the best praying you could do, the best living you can do, and stuff still stopped going haywire on you. I wish somebody say amen. You thought you were pleasing God with your goodness and how faithful you could be in church and all the things you were doing, glory to God, and stuff still stopped going bad on you because you're fighting in the flesh. Amen. Teach it. Teach it. Grace and truth. 
came with Jesus. Grace is available to all of us. Somebody say amen. amen. If you can hear me, gentlemen, love this morning, if you can hear me, grace is available.